It is June, which means it's it's the gay month. Shout out to all the gay people out there, I guess. It's your month. Um, you know, I do want to bring up some... I don't know, just some highlights from what we've seen so far. And it's only 11 days into the month. Um, we already saw companies you know, do a pre, almost like a tailgate to the pride month. You know, they started things off early with, you know, Ford's gay truck. Um, what else happened? Target put out their pride month and then suddenly like took it away, put it right next to the kids section. Great. Fantastic. But now of course we're in like the middle of it, you know, companies, cities. I think John Fetterman was at a pride parade at one point. Um, everyone and their mothers going to these d- gay, whatever. It's happening. You know, you can't go downtown without seeing a one of those ugly, the freaking triangle flags. Ugh. That's the most ugly flag ever. I would rather just have the rainbow. The rainbow flag's fine, but we have to include everyone. <laughs> Makes no sense. Um, but anyways, I just want to go through a couple highlights that have happened over the course of, you know, this 11 days. Um, I will give a viewer discretion advised. (laughs) You are going to see some images that you probably will not be able to unsee. So watch at your own risk. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. Okay. You have been warned. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if I could show this. Actually, I'm going to uh, try to do a bit of censoring here. Um, just for the sake of the audience. Okay. So this tweet comes from Mr. Benny Johnson. Um, as you can see, it's a picture of a uh, mom and her toddler. At a pride festival. And you can see. You can't see it because I'm censoring. But there's another mom and her little children. Just walking the streets. And this man. Or woman. Or someone. Who I've tried to censor. You can see that uh, they are wearing something. Don't worry. They are not completely in the nude. Uh, But it's very revealing. And they are just. You know. Casually bending over in the public. You know. Normal, normal event happening here. But uh, Benny Johnson saying this is child abuse and the parents are criminal. Rumor should be arrested. Can anyone, anyone defend this? Photo taken today in D.C. of all places. Oh, fantastic. In D.C. Our nation's capital. Lovely. But, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg with this stuff. It's getting out of hand. Um, I'm not sure how well I can censor this next one. But we we, we will see. Um, it is a video. I'm not sure if I can go too hard. But again, it's just, you know. It kind of goes along with the Nick Merck story, right? Leave these kids out of it. But, you know, how do you stop parents from bringing their kids to these events? You know? I mean, we could just stop having the events. You know, you can ban kids from these events but apparently that's apparently that means you're homophobic i don't know um but let's look at this tweet from rebecca rebecca brannon i believe i'm pronouncing that right uh it says children watch boston area pets walk by in today's pride parade and see other sexual explicit dressed people large banner reads your sex is political oh lovely let's take a look at this video i'm sure uh, sure, it's fantastic. You know, you know, if I get, oh god, oh god, you know, if I get a uh, flag for like sexual, whatever, on Rumble or on YouTube, that's homophobic, honestly. For for sent for knocking me down for this. <sighs> Anyways, let's continue. What does that say? Fast 
fashion what okay why is this in the parade why is that's that's a fetish is not is it not a fetish or is it part of the well okay to be fair it does say lgbtq plus there is a plus in there but that plus could be so much i don't know i'm done thinking about this Those kids do look like they do not want to be there. It <laughs> Oh, those kids look like they got dragged out of their house and their moms and parents said, "Hey, put this on." I mean, that's just what it looks like, but you just you just feel bad for them. Oh god. Your sex your sex is political. Okay. Didn't know that. Oh my god. Oh, Boston area. Pe oh god. <sighs> Jesus. Listen, I'm fine with anyone having any fetish. You know, it's fine whatever. But, you know, once you start bringing it out in the public, that opens the doors for people to just roast you, okay? If you keep it indoors, it's fine. But as soon as you come out in the public looking like this, like, what do you expect people to say? You expect everyone to be nice to you? No, people are going to criticize you. You're on the public. You're in a parade. It's life. <laughs> Oh, great. More children. Oh, boy. <laughs> they even have their own flag. What has this world come to? What has this world come to? They're going to add the bone on the LGBT flag now. We can add more letters to the army. No, no, no. Not the furries. Oh, God damn it. The furries are here. Okay, let's get through this video. Thank God that's it. Thank God that's it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, what a pride parade. Am I right, guys? Man, the pride parades are just going to keep getting longer and longer each year because they keep adding each and every single fetish sexuality. And guess what, guys? There's infinite amount. So we're going to need – we're not only going to need one month. We're going to need the whole year for these parades. There's just going to be a 24-hour, 24-7 long parades that will eventually happen. <laughs> oh, my God. And each single day of the year will be uh, a furry bisexual day or puppy – puppy pup playtime day. Like it's getting ridiculous. We are truly like a bored nation. We are, we, we have it so well, so well that we're creating and displaying weird shit. <sighs> it's getting to that point. <sighs> but yeah, another thing about this uh, whole pride event, you're right. The whole pride thing is these people will say, you know, we're the oppressed group and a lot of people are pointing out that's like, no, if all these corporations and these cities allow you to do this, you're not oppressed. And what really puts that like, you know, disclaims that is this right here that happened, I believe today or yesterday. And that's this right here. Um, they put up pride flags on the White House, like in front of the White House. 
look at that. They put the pride flag in the middle of two American flags. <laughs> like, your party is in power. And your party believes you deserve not even, like... This party believes they deserve a higher citizenship, right? You know, because they can't just live like normal Americans, I guess. They have to be treated differently. They want to be treated differently, but they want to be treated like on a pedestal above everyone else. And, you know, this this, pres this presidency is giving them that. Look, the American flag in the middle. Oh, my goodness, people. It's it's getting out of hand. Um, uh, I also want to point out this tweet here from Matt Wallace, who, uh, you know, makes a good point here. This is the White House during Easter, the White House during Veterans Day, the White House during Christmas, and, of course, the White House during Pride Month, you know course if we get a closer look nothing for easter nothing for veterans day nothing for christmas and of course pride month love to see it <sighs> our nation is falling apart <laughs> we have it too well folks we need we need some uh, hardship here to get these people back in line